Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy and today this video is about another inequality that is Bernoulli's inequality. So let's start with the statement of this inequality. 1 plus x to the power n is greater than or equal to 1 plus n times x. So this is true for all n in n that are for all the natural numbers and this is also true when there is a restriction on x that x should be greater than or equal to minus 1. So this is the inequality that we discussed in the pure real form here that if we have a real number that is greater than or equal to minus 1 and the statement of the inequality is if we have a restriction on x this so 1 plus x to the power n is greater than or equal to 1 plus nx and this is true for all n in n or for all the natural numbers so this is the statement of the Bernoulli's inequality and we will start the proof of this inequality by using the induction process or is commonly known as the mathematical induction as we have proved some of the theorems by the contradiction or by simple using the definitions and this is another method by using the mathematical induction process and I think this is the first proof of the inequality that use this mathematical induction process here that I'm using mathematical induction process here to solve this inequality what is the base of the mathematical induction process the base is that we will check uh, the given inequality for some known values of n that is 1 2 and 3 so if we say that the inequality is true for such of uh, such finite values of n then we will suppose that that it is true for some some k values so if some use index here i or k so 1 2 3 so on to if i am using the index i here then for the value of i 1 2 3 so on to n we'll suppose that by giving the values here that the inequality is true for such values for the values of n when i'm taking it 1 for the values of n when i'm taking it 2 and so on so by this concept at the base we will we will assert that that if we we know that this inequality is true for some value of for some value of n right then the target must be to prove it for the next general value where we know that this is also belong to n so the target is to show that for the k plus 1 now we will prove so now if we take n is equal to 1 by using the mathematical induction process so the inequality becomes 1 plus x to the power 1 is greater than or equal to 1 plus x so this is so this is eventually the equality is because the case when n is equal to 1 yields equality so the assertion is valid in this case and if we are going to take n is equal to 2 here then this is what the inequality is 1 plus x whole square is greater than 1 plus 2x and this is true because 1 plus x whole square is eventually if we expand this term this is 1 plus x square plus 2x so this is have additional term that is x square and if x is greater than or equal to minus 1 then this is eventually greater than or equal to 1 plus 2x so this is true for 1 2 and this is also true for 1 2 3 4 so on 2 let's suppose that this is true this inequality is true for any k natural number so let n is equal to k imply the validity of the inequality now the target is to show that it is true for k plus 1 where k is any natural number so we will use these assertions in order to prove that it is also true for k plus 1 real number or k plus 1 natural number if i'm putting n is equal to k plus 1 in this inequality on the left hand side i have 1 plus x to the power k plus 1 and i am going to write it as 1 plus x k times 1 plus x by using the simple algebraic manipulation so now we'll use that this assertion that n is equal to k is the valid argument of this inequality that i'm going to put n is equal to k here we will get 1 plus x to the power k is greater than or equal to 1 plus kx so i'm using this here so this will be greater than or equal to 1 plus k times x and 1 plus x from the above term now so let's manipulate it 1 times 1 i'm getting 1 
1 times x, x, k times x, we get kx, and k times x, kx times x, we get kx squared. So if there is x common from these two terms, so we get 1 plus k plus kx squared. So we can write it. So this term is greater than, this term is greater than this term because of the same argument of this, that this is 1 plus x whole square. So we'll get 1 plus x square plus 2x. And this is greater than because this inequality is true because this side have, have, uh, this side have x square in addition. So this is why this is greater than on the other side. So the same reason, this, this inequality, this side is greater than this this expression so that is why this is greater than this thing so here on the left side we have 1 plus x to the power k plus 1 and this side 1 plus x 1 plus k and this is the this is the right hand side of the inequalities that if we have n is equal to k plus 1 so this is what the n 1 plus n x so n is k plus 1 so the inequality is true here this is also valid here so we have proved this inequality by using the mathematical induction process and this is the proof of the Bernoulli's inequality. So this is for now you can for most of the videos and you can subscribe to this channel to watch more upcoming videos. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.